In this video, I'm going to look at some people who are creating storytelling AI excellence. And these are finalists in the Curious Refuge AI movie trailer competition. So while we watch these, there are several key storytelling milestones that I'm going to be highlighting. One of them is a protagonist with a problem. For an extra bonus point, it's a protagonist who you really feel a connection to. So it's a protagonist that you like with a problem and some stakes. So a problem and they need to solve this problem. What will happen if they don't solve the problem? And what will happen if they do solve the problem? And what's the antagonistic force? What are they up against? What mountain do they have to climb? What beast do they have to slay that stands in their way, so to speak? And this premise for a story is a great way of saying, what would happen if? And that's what these kind of trailers should be about for us as storytellers. We need to create lots and lots of these. We need writers who have great premise ideas and AI filmmakers who are willing to bring those to life. We need lots of these which are hooks, which kind of ask the audience, would you want to see this movie? Would you be interested in seeing where this goes? And that's what they should be. Teasers for stories that get film companies to go, I'd like to make that movie. And they get audiences to go, more importantly, I'd like to watch that movie. Because if lots of people are saying, I want to watch that movie, then film companies will come along and say, we'd like to make that movie. So these kind of videos are good for pitching your story, for pitching your idea, for getting it in front of an audience and getting it in front of a studio. Let's see how they did. So the first one. This is Control Base. Go ahead, Outpost 2000. This is Outpost 2000. I know I'm the only one posted here, but there's someone else on board. Come again, Outpost 2000. I, I feel weird. Me. He's up in the airlock. Outpost, hello? Outpost 2000. Outpost 2000. Come in. This is Outpost 2000. Sorry about that. Everything's fine here. <laughs> that was really well done. It's really well done. So you've got a problem uh, you've got a protagonist who's he's lonely out in space and he's got a problem. Somebody else is there and there's no one around to help him. He's on his own. And then this thing takes action and he's blasted out the airlock. And then uh, so great premise. Would you want to watch a movie? Well, I don't know. Is there enough meat left dangling? You need something left hanging that goes, I want to find out what happens next. Well, my guess is that what happens next in this story is that somebody, well, he's gone and then the next, the rescuers come to see what's going on and then it's battle against the elements with this alien and it'll be something like that. But great way to pitch an idea, a premise. Let's watch the next one. World War One. Just like for the whole of Europe, our city suffer from hunger. I am asking for a job in the palace for my daughter. Damsel in distress. Let her earn her fate. Thou shalt attend to the washing of the floors, and shalt serve the principality. Princess Mary Pavlovna, Prince Joseph Alexandrovich, Lady Jadwiga, and Nicholas Josephovich. Hello. The house's favorite. So here's the setup. It is time to commence the seance. Spirit of this house. All is not well. Reveal thyself to us. Creepy. Something lurks in the darkness. <laughs> Bought the address, Anna. Who should organize the ball? The ball. The times of war. Their blood. Their blood. Uh oh. They have been found. She served in the palace. The princess murdered the servants. I can be next. Building tension. I'm alone. We commence the ball. Building tension. Stakes are getting higher. It's a revolution. What's 
going to happen to the girl? What's going to happen to the prince? Did he get killed? Probably not. Did he escape? Probably. What's going to happen to her? Whoa. Great job. Great job. Great job. So here's the idea. So you see all the, the you started with a, a protagonist with a problem and the stakes. You know, well, she needed to break free of the, the poverty of post-war Europe. She needed an opportunity to, to kind of make something of herself and be looked after. If she did, then she could go, woof, she could climb out of poverty. She could marry the prince. Um, but then all these problems, my goodness, all is not as it seems. And so you've got the twin forces of some kind of haunted house and a revolution brewing. And so you've got all this going on and great premise. It's a great way to kind of say, look, here's a protagonist. Here's a problem. Here are some stakes. Here's what will happen if she does solve her problem and get what she wants. Here's what happens if she doesn't. And here's what happens if she moves forwards. It's a risky thing. Uh, let's check out the next one. So, Eloise, tell me about what's been bothering you. I keep having these dreams. Ooh, nice blend to color. And they keep coming true. And what is it you dream about? Yeah. This is great. I think the dreams are coming. Nice. Back. It's grown up. We're back in color. Hi, my name is Eloise. And I'm sorry, but I think you're going to die today. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. So you've got, <laughs> they use, it sounds like they use human voices rather than AI voices. I really applaud that because that's so easy to do. You just need to find an actor or bring out your own inner thespian. Protagonist with a problem. She doesn't like the dreams. They've obviously gone away, but now she's all grown up. They come back, they come true and she's going to do something about it. So she's trying to save somebody. She wants to make it right so that they don't just keep dying. And it's great. Great. What happens when a girl has dreams about people dying and she tries to intervene to change the future and change their fates? Can she do it? What's at stake? Well, she could present, prevent somebody from dying um, and help to kind of chase away the demons in her head and make her, her gift some kind of something useful. If she doesn't, then all she ha then all that happens is she just watches people dying in her dreams for the rest of her life. And she obviously doesn't like these dreams, so she wants them to be... This is great! It's really good. By the way, so there's some elements of that that cross over with, um, with my movie, Telepathy Sucks, which you can buy as an ebook right now on Amazon, linked below. That was a pitch. <laughs> I am the sponsor of my own video today. Uh, anyway, next one. At its northern border, Rome's power fades within the ancient forests of Germania. For hundreds of years, the Empire sought to dominate my people, but we remained free. After war came peace. We began to trade. The borderlands became a place of safety for people from every corner of our world. But now, a darkness is rising. There have been murders. Savage and merciless. People talk of creatures deep within the forest. They whisper of a dark god. A god of death. To save my village and avenge the death of my father, I must uncover the truth. United with my friend, an agent of Rome, I travel to face the demons of my past and to reveal the forces that haunt us in the present.
I like this. I like this. This was original. What was great there is uh, so you have the woman who is the there's a, a protagonist, a very clear protagonist in the the woman. And we know that she, she's got peace after all these years of war. And they like the peace. They want the peace. And they've even started to trade. They're starting to get along. At least things are settled. And then comes a new threat from the forest. Normally, you'd have the Romans versus the Germa Germanian people, <laughs> uh, like Gladiator. But this is a great way of taking what would otherwise be a stock standard go-to story of Rome and Germany and they've taken it into a different direction which is really really interesting. The ideal AI pitch video is one where you forget you're looking at AI and you get drawn into the story and by the way teaming up with a writers and AI filmmakers teaming up with musicians with three of you <laughs> then you could create amazing stuff. Here's the second runner up. A darkness approaches. One that endangers our world and the liberty we hold dear. In our arsenal lies a power unforeseen by our enemies. This gift was passed down through our ancestors, and we shall unleash it against those who seek to claim dominion over us. It is our duty to stand in defiance. Oh, that's great. That pitch is an idea. That premise is one that you kind of go, well, that's a different angle on the slave trade. That would be really interesting to see where that goes to. See, that's a great premise pitch video. Clear protagonists with clear problems and what will happen if they solve the problem and what will happen if they don't solve the problem and what the antagonistic force is against them. And uh, it's an intriguing premise secret powers hidden away held in plain sight under the guise of a circus in the new world and um, maybe that's where it's going i don't know it'd be interesting well done if you're watching this video uh, my guess is you're one of two kinds of people you're either an ai filmmaking enthusiast or you're a writer with a big idea and a big story to tell you guys need to connect so if you're watching this video there is something for both of you here it's very very important and I've also created a Facebook group for anybody who wants to connect with somebody on the other side for writers who need to collaborate with an AI filmmaker AI filmmakers who need to collaborate with writers there's a video here where if you haven't seen it yet George Lucas recently unwittingly pitched the case for AI potentially being the thing that will save Hollywood, not destroy it. It's really interesting. It's not long. Go watch it here and it explains why these kind of premise pitch videos are really, really important.